All right, guys. Today, I got another uh, Droid 2 video for you guys. Um, this is uh, Droid 2, like I said, and we are running stock. Let me just show you what we're running here. This is Android version right here. It is uh, 2.3.4, and I do not have root on this device. Um, we'll go into app drawer, and you can see here by S, there is no super user or super sue in there. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to use, uh, it's called an easy um, SBF plus root. So what it is going to do is going to SBF your device and then it's going to root the device. So <clears throat> um, first thing you're going to want to do is go into settings, about um, applications I should say, and then make sure unknown sources is checked and go to development and make sure USB debugging is on and you have installed the Motorola drivers and the files you need. So let's go ahead and look at the computer. I'm going to set my phone down and let's we'll go over some of the programs and files you're going to need to do this. Alright guys, uh, the files you're going to need are these three right here. So one of them is RSD Lite, uh, which is a Motorola application that allows you to SBF flash your phone. The other one is the Motorola Device Manager or the Motorola Drivers. So you want to have these installed on your computer before you do this. This is also on a Windows computer. Um, and then you're going to want to have root droid 2 update. Um, I will give you guys links to everything you're going to need in my just video description down below. So once you have all these things installed, go ahead and install your drivers first. Um, and you can go ahead and open RSD Lite, which I have down here with this Motorola logo at the bottom you can see. So we're going to open up droid to update, this is a zip file, so you're gonna have to unzip it and make sure it's not in a zip format when you're using this. And you're gonna see this, all this stuff right here. So what you got right here, this is a Droid 2 bat file, batch file is what it is, dot bat. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this. And it says boot your phone normally and enable USB debugging, which we've already done and just connect it. So we're going to go ahead and connect our phone to the computer here with the cable. So go ahead and connect. There we go. We're connected. You heard my droid there. And if your drivers are all connected, it should, everything should connect good here. And then it says here, press any key to continue. Someone hit the space bar now that my phone is connected. So it says waiting for device. Um, so let's just let this thing wait here for a sec. Here, just so you can see, we are in here. So everything should be connected. Let's go to mass storage mode instead of PC mode, though. That might be a trick we need here. And there it is. So, um,. Here we go, waiting for device, cleaning up some features here. Now, the next thing it says to do is um, press a key to reboot. Then hold the up arrow on the phone keypad to start flash mode. Flash the SBF file that's included. So I'm gonna show you this really quick if you can hopefully see it. So you're gonna open this up and you're gonna hold this up arrow right here. Sorry if it's kind of blurry there. That's the up arrow on the directional pad. So what we're going to do is we're going to first push any key to continue so that the device will reboot. Okay. So should reboot here. Come on now. We're going to power off on our phone. Okay. And then we're going to hold the up arrow like I said and power back on and then let go of it mm -hmm. alright so now we are in bootloader mode that is the motor in right here so you can set this thing down and we're gonna open up our RSD light program which is right here um, so once this program is open up we're gonna go ahead and search for SPF file which is gonna be located with those files you've already downloaded right here is what it's called. It's called a 955.2.3.4 fixed SBF. So we're going to click on it 
and then you want to make sure you're connected down here this is actually your device and then I would expand these also so you can actually see what's going on when this thing's running alright so we have our phone connected here which is this information our SBF flash file which is this information and the start button so just go ahead and hit start and it's going to create an image file which should run really quite quickly here so we're gonna let that run and then it should go ahead and flash the image file when it's done which takes probably about 10 minutes so it just uh, changed your interface since it's erasing flash memory and it's go ahead and it's executing so this execution part right here is going to build to 100 percent and again like I said it's probably going to take about 10 minutes I'm going to pause on this thing and then we'll come back to it when we get to it close to the end here so I'll just let this run also anytime you flash your device on anything from you flash a ROM you SBF the device you do anything like this always make sure you have at least 80 90 percent battery 100 percent if you can get it that's definitely preferred you don't want this thing to shut off in the middle of the procedure so uh, just make sure you guys follow that idea too so hang on a sec all right guys we're at uh, 97 percent of that execution right here 98 now last time I did this I actually got a failed process over here in the results so right now it's it's, it's checking the uh, it says check some match um, and it still says it's in process over here um, but like I said last time I did this it, I think the next step it changes something and then it fails okay so if yours fails don't freak out about it make sure you leave your device plugged in and I'll go through the next steps with you and I think mine's gonna fail here also so let's just watch and see okay so it's switching Thanks, it's downloading some RAM boot and it's executing. Okay, right here. Failed flashing process internal BP check and it says failed. All right. When this happens, don't freak out. Just 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 let it sit here for a second, okay? Um, what I think is going to happen and what happened with my last one, you just let it sit there for a little bit and your phone is in bootloader mode still alright so just let it sit here for a sec um, what happened before is the device would actually just switched and went ahead and rebooted um, so let's just let it sit for a second um, this says right here in your command prop window again you can read this it says press um, a key when finishing when finished flashing the A955 fixed SBF and phone has rebooted. So we don't phone hasn't rebooted yet, so we don't want to push any keys. But let's just give it a second here and see what happens. There it is guys. Just click on on this right here. So it clicks on the device right there. Just do that. And then here we go now the device is actually going to reboot itself which is really random how this works but that's what you had to do I had to click on that blue bar up there and highlight it and then uh, the device went into a reboot so we're gonna let this thing reboot I'm gonna show it to you once it finishes booting up and then we'll finish the procedure alright I gotta show you guys this here really quick our phone is finished booting up okay so we're booting up here everything's starting to function there okay so you're seeing it it's a little glitchy still it's connecting back up to the computer um, but this is what I wanted to show you guys so you're not freaking out when you see this stuff um, so we're connecting up here but right here it says phone failed initial security verification check don't know what this means but it comes up when you do this procedure so then you just hit OK it goes away okay so right now we're gonna leave the RSD light tool alone we're gonna come back over here click on this window and then it says now that the phone's rebooted press any key to continue so we're gonna hit the space bar on our keyboard and it's waiting for a device sending final reboot phone once phone has rebooted press any key to install root utilities 
So our phone is now again rebooting and we're just going to let it do that, let it finish and then we'll push the next key, probably spacebar again and see what happens. So let's just let this thing finish here. Alright guys, our uh, phone here has rebooted and then we're back into the phone. Um, so now that we're rebooted, the program over there just says to push, uh, push any key. So we're going to go ahead and push the space bar. So it is waiting on device right now is what it says. So I think it has to just kind of connect with the computer. So let's just let it sit here and wait a second. And it should be there. There we go. So copying root utilities and did all that. Everything looks good. It says, if everything seems to have gone well, put phone, but the phone is not rooted, run problem bat, which would be a file that is by your SPF file and by your Droid, um, Droid 2 update bat file. Um, but let's just go ahead and check to see if we have roots. Let me refocus this camera for you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go into our uh, app drawer and as you can see right here you have super user right there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll over and we're gonna go in here and we're gonna say check for update and it's going to ask us for super user permission or it's just gonna grant it right there you can see it's granted in blue so there you go we have now super user permission and we are running like I was telling you before go down here to about phone Android 2.3.4 and it has a uh, root so uh, over here back on our command prompt just hit any space key I know you can't see it but it'll close out the command prompt and you have your RSD light program and this now you can unplug and don't unplug it until you get to this point because you can mess something up. But now you're good there. We're going to close out our RSD light program right there. And you're good to go. So now you have um, SPF'd your uh, Droid 2. You're running 2.3.4 and you have root or slash super user permission right there. And you can run your root utilities. So that is it guys. That is the easy... SBF plus root utility and how to run it with even with the errors that it spits out at you everything still does go through fine so be patient with it I uh, hope you guys like this video if you did um, please uh, subscribe down below oh, check out my uh, YouTube channel or my sorry my website right here at rootjunkie.com you can follow me at Twitter or Facebook down below however you like um, hope you guys like this and we'll catch you guys another time